Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're at 1 Samuel chapter 25 today, verses 20 to 24. Uh, Abigail is trying to save the situation. Her husband is, has committed some kind of faux pas here. He, he's created a, a giant friction, and David and his, so his men are coming. They're coming with swords. Abigail is trying to save this. Let's see what happens, verses 20 to 24. So it was, as she rode on the donkey, that she went down under cover of the hill. And there were David and his men coming down toward her, and she met them. Now David had said, Surely in vain I have protected all that this fellow has in the wilderness, so that nothing was missed of all that belongs to him. And he has repaid me evil for good. May God do so, and more also, to the enemies of David. If I leave one male of all who belong to him by morning light. Now when Abigail saw David, she dismounted quickly from the donkey, fell on her face before David, and bowed down to the ground. So she fell at his feet and said, On me, my Lord, on me let this iniquity be. And please let your maidservant speak in your ears and hear the words of your maidservant. Straight down to the ground when she gets there, she is completely humbling herself before David. Uh, she is first one to speak here. So first we saw that David is, uh, this, is what's, this is what's going through David's mind. We got a little bit of mind reading going on. The Holy Spirit is helping the author of First Samuel here understand what's going on in David's mind. And David is uh, thinking it all through, and he's saying, man, I've been treated evilly, and I'm, I'm going to, this, this isn't going to stand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address this. And here he comes with 400 guys armed with swords. That's uh, a pretty serious operation. So again, back over now to Abigail. She first falls on her face. She bows down. She fell, falls at his feet. And then she pleads, Lord, my Lord, let this iniquity, let this sin be on me. She had nothing to do with it at all that was evil, but she wants to uh, bear that sin. What a spirit. And isn't there an interesting parallel here to the spirit of Jesus? Jesus had not sinned. Jesus had no iniquity. And yet he would take all of our iniquity upon him and give us all of his righteousness. Uh, this is a spirit of Jesus in this sister in the faith, Abigail. Very interesting to me. Let your maidservant speak in your ears. Hear the words of your maidservant. Please, she's making an appeal. Please stop. Just long enough, give me a hearing, please. And there is a total spirit there of, of care, of submission, of caution, kind of a boldness also, wouldn't you say? She, you know, here comes David. He's coming with swords. Here comes Abigail with her donkeys and all the gifts she sent before. And she comes right in his way and, and things come to a grinding stop right there. So bold, humility, grace, mercy, willing to serve and bear, bear iniquity. There's so much here. There's so much here. Well, you know what, friends? Uh, what about, again, you and I? Do we have this spirit? How much of this spirit do we have? Uh, humility? David's not really showing too much humility right now. David is marching for war, but she is giving us the example. The spirit of Jesus is in all that she's doing. She's seeking for peace. Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount, blessed are the peacemakers, and there's a blessing for those. They will see God. This is a woman who sees God, and she is now then re reinstantiating the thing she sees about God's character back into the world. It comes into her heart and it bounces back out into the world, and she's trying for peace. You and I, a lot of times, we have not tried hard enough for peace. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, give us a spirit like Abigail has, Lord. Please help us to be more diligent in seeking for unity, more diligent in seeking for peace. Help us to be more bold, as it were, in, in pointing out things that need to be corrected and doing it in a Christian way, doing it with grace. But Lord, help us not to be behind in, in seeking out all that we can do to open a door, a pathway for peace between brother and brother and sister and sister. Lord, thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you for this example from Abigail, one of, the, one of the most precious in the entire Bible. And we want that we will be like that in our lives. Bless, we pray. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. May God be with you today in all that you do.